Hello and welcome to this episode of Waterdeep Dragon Heist. My name is John Gerbed. I am the GM for this campaign. We rejoin the action as the group have a interesting tense meeting with one of the town guards before continuing to the Godcatcher statue. You, if you'd like to come with us, we can show you where the scene of the crime was. You might want to think very carefully about how you do business in the city. Actually, we were... Would you prefer us to leave the bodies next time? Uh, Would you prefer we kill him? No. <laughs> we no. Were... Officer, we were... Um, what's to say? Uh, we were... Um, hired? Hired, yes, that's the word. Hired to protect... Um, to take care of Lord... Whatever his name is. Never we ever. Were, yeah, we were we were we were on hire to protect this lord, and we had realized that people that we were trying to protect, well, it weren't the same people, so it kind of got overhand, and so he has been kidnapped, and we're trying to find him. Can I roll another position? Okay, but the city watch. It's our job to deal with these things. Yeah, but... Oh, then you should come with us. We're about to go and find the hidden lair. I'm choosing not to listen to what you're saying, because you shouldn't necessarily be doing that, because we can't just go into places and presume that there are hidden lairs, or... Oh, we're not presuming it. He didn't tell us. He told us. He the told, told us. you. Not me. So I can't know it. But we're telling you. Well, we're just going to leave this man with you and we'll be on a birthday then. Dumps the man on the sky and he starts and we're all just, we're just going to walk off. <laughs> he kind of stumbles backwards with it, starts unbundling the man and tries to slap some cuffs on him. Uh, Sean, does he still have fingers? He did. He does still have fingers. Okay, all of them. Everyone, start, everyone started trying to bundle him away as he, as Sesgrath was going to take a snack. <laughs> <laughs> he snaps the cuffs on and starts to go down away past the Godcatcher. Um, so we're following him as well. <laughs> you're sort of following him a bit. We're just going to go to the place. Every time he looks back, we're just waving. Hi! <laughs> Uh, the thoroughfare leading to the Godcatcher is densely packed with people, market stalls, and street performers. A crowd is gathered around one stall in particular, and you can see the occasional fish sail through the air over the crowd and then disappear behind them on the other side. Uh, the scene is scored by the harsh sound of aggressive street music played by a duo standing in the shadow of the Godcatcher itself. Oh, I love that performance. Does it look like one I could join in on? Uh, you look at the bards and you can see a female Aracrocran bard uh, playing a uh, a type of woodwind horn and I have a horn as well a uh, male tabaxi bard playing a trombone-like brass horn. Pardon? Is there a map of this? Or is it just like, no, just, just like picture it in your heads. I'm trying to picture it. But I'm oh, all I can picture now is um, the roofs are from Robin Hood. <laughs> I'm just and the roofs are cats. Yeah. I'm thinking of food right now, actually. Um, so yeah, one's play... Uh, the the Aracrocran bard is playing a woodwind horn with a piercing tone. Uh, and the tabaxi is playing a trombone-like brass horn with a warm, smooth sound. Ooh. Are they playing some smooth jazz? They're playing the equivalent of some smooth jazz. <laughs> it's a love horn. Ooh. Now we just gotta find Ooh. this place then, huh? I like their funky ribbon. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. 
And they just seem to be playing on the street corner. Can I try to start playing with them? Uh, yeah, give me a performance check. <laughs> you just... I, I, I pull out my minotaur horn. <laughs> uh, you sort of walk up near them and uh, as you pull the horn out they sort of um, the, the Aracrocran nods you in the other one sort of looks over at you and keeps playing his his own horn and you start playing and it's it, it's not great <laughs> but I'm having one hell of a time <laughs> um and they sort of start weaving you into the the tune that they're playing and between the between the three of you you've got a fairly interesting musical rhythm going and at the end of it at the end of the song uh, the tabaxi puts down his uh, brass uh, trombone and sort of starts polishing it and the aracrocran holds out a hand and uh, hi my name is Lau Oh, nice to meet you, Lou. I am Underscum. That's an interesting instrument you have there. Yes. Not sure where I got it from, but I think it was my father's. <laughs> His own horn, or...? No, 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 no. Uh, no, he was a, he was a bugbear like me. <laughs> oh, very interesting. You play it very well. Thank you. I only carved it recently. <laughs> Apparently it goes well with the barding. Yes, having a uh, instrument sure helps with that. Wouldn't you say that's right, Jorbin? And the tabaxi sort of turns around and nods. Yeah, that's right. Speaks a lot, doesn't he? <laughs> Lau just looks over you as, uh, not really. So He's, what uh, brings you here? Oh, we play, uh, we play usually right here. Uh, usually get here just before midday. Um, then come, go, go round to the town a bit and get back here just before sundown. It's a good place oh. to play for some tips. I shall have to remember that. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, if if, if you're uh, in the area and you want to play some music, we're usually here, as I say, uh, right before midday. We get the lunchtime rush. We go around the town a little bit, come back here just before sundown, and then uh, God catch her over there, and she points at the large 50-foot-tall statue. Well, there's a, there's oh. a tavern in there that... Uh, you know, they they get the uh, custom in and we play out here and we get some good tips. Nice. So, I don't know whether you would know anywhere where I might be able to might do my physical performances. You see, I'm... Like a dancer. I'm a wrestler. Oh. I mean, I'm afraid that's a little bit outside my area of expertise. You can see that she's... Uh, fairly uh, non-physically intimidating creature. Oh. Bonkers. I mean, I, you know, like like most, I have a small amount of um, prowess with a sword, uh, as you get trained about in the cottages, but uh, not my sort of thing, I'm afraid. Uh, each to their own, I suppose. What brings you here? Well, we were we were hired to look after a guy who got kidnapped. You're not doing so a very good job then, are you? No, but it's our first job here, so I think we're doing rather well. 
I it's mean, a bit hard to defend someone from spine devils. To be fair, <laughs> Jobin. Oh, yeah. This is Gummy. Uh, Gimbal. Nice to meet you. Uh, Jorbin sort of looks round. What did you say? Spine devils. You know, vile things. Cheat a lot as well. Mute like fire. Large birds. Covered in spines. Yeah. Those are the ones. Uh, have you seen one? I mean, I, uh... He points up, and you can see that the uh, the god catcher has an outstretched arm and hand. I've seen them uh, over the last month or so, circling that arm. Ooh. I mean, I don't know if they are th spine devils. I've never heard of them. I've never heard anybody refer to them as anything, but... Uh, yeah, they look like large birds covered in spines. They sometimes arrive carrying uh, large packages. That could... Gimme. I think we found her. We have a way in. We have a way in. We found her. But how do we get in there? Uh, not with the Muppet Man. That uh, work. I mean, there's a... There's a tavern... And Lau, Lau turns round and points at the tavern in the in the Godcatcher. Yeah, there's a, there's a tavern in there. I've uh, in the last month or so, I've started to hear rumours that it's haunted. A load of codswallop, but the patrons in there say they can hear uh, indistinct whispered voices coming from the wall. Load of rubbish. But what does a haunted tavern have to do with us? Whew. We'll have to find another way in. Gimme, why are you looking at me like that? I'm not looking at you like anything, am I? Do I look? Right. Well, I suppose we can go for a drink already. <laughs> Everything all right? I miss things. What's happened? Well, we came across these bards. They were playing. I played with them. We did an amazingly well. Mm -hmm. Did you make some money? We did amazingly well. Uh, they didn't did make, make any point? money. But didn't we... make it rain. <laughs> no, no. We weren't trying to play any rain music. So we weren't trying to change the weather. Uh... But we did amazingly well. Then we toured, we made new friends. And uh, turns out those spiny birds have been flying around that statue. So, we think it's in the statue that we need to go. Now, we've been told that there's a haunted bar over there, but I don't see much point in it. But I think we could go for a drink, if nothing else. Just perhaps already started walking towards a tavern. What's up, Rex? Wait. I could do for a drink, actually. For a drink and a rowdy fight. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> uh, you head into the. Doodly doodly do. That's a strange name for a tavern. Hmm. Did they do the tap? You head into the Godcatcher Inn. No, diddly diddly do in now. Mm -hmm. uh, and I might need to give you guys eyesight again. One moment. That's yep. say, I'm My black. eyes! I'm These about. drinks I'm must drunk. be really good. I can't see. <laughs> I can't see. I'm not even drunk anything yet. That's all right. I'm going to pet my Just the vapors. Must be. Bella, 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 bella. <clears throat> You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Uh, the tap room of the Godcatcher Inn is awash with a warm atmospheric glow. I still can't see. As soon as you all open your eyes. <laughs> Love the concept that we're just going blindfolded. 
here for the surprise, really, you know. <laughs> also, I have this problem with Roll20 all the time. I'd need to actually make your default tokens have dark, or uh, have vision. Uh, that is, would be handy. Is the problem. It, it would be very useful. Um, so I'm going to do that while I read the it's description. The convention. <laughs> I only have so many tokens, guys. <laughs> uh, little the... Red Riding Hood, Little Red Riding Hood, Little Red Riding Hood, Little Red Riding Hood, Little Red... <laughs> the tap room of the Godcatcher Inn is awash with a warm atmospheric glow of a blazing fireplace. Tall shadows fill the corners and flickering candles adorn each table. Over two dozen well-dressed guests are at the tables and drinking at the bar. A long-haired half-elf with a sharp suit tends the bar and mingles with the guests. I think we best uh, get a drink and sit down. Let's walk straight up to the bar. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Same here. <laughs> Agreed. Uh, the the half elf sort of watches you all approach separately, turns and smiles and says, "I'll be with you in a moment." Uh, sort of counts up which ones of you got to the bar first. <laughs> right, next time it's a race. <laughs> And you watch the no will get served last because it's sizest. <laughs> Don't worry, I can help you there. Goes over, picks up Gimme. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> holding Gimme up, <laughs> hold gimme up high <laughs> along the bar side. Not again. She'll come over to you and Hi. I think this gentleman's first, which I pointed to Gimme. <laughs> <laughs> Still sway like a hanging man. Uh. Hi. Hi. Um. Uh, don't suppose you have a nice Merlot, do you? I'll see what I can do. Interesting choice. <laughs> Not one of our usuals. Walks out, walks back. Didn't have any Merlot, but did have a Merlot. What about that one? <laughs> <laughs> Did have a merlock. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she goes back behind the bar. Well, she is behind the bar. She goes back into the uh, back room of the bar and uh, comes out with a bottle. Uh, this is a. And she blows the dust off the label. <coughs> oh, I suspect it's a good one. This is a uh, Tesco value. <laughs> oh, <God>. Red Dragon <laughs> Crush. Smart price. <laughs> uh, the bottle will be five gold. Uh, reaches into his pocket, digs for a little bit. Uh, yes, I can afford that. Okay. Puts the bottle down. Gets you a glass out. It's not a wine glass, but it'll do. <laughs> Anything's a wine glass. It's a glass that holds wine. It's a sippy cup. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a little smiley face on it. And there's the size. It comes in paints. <laughs> Captain Pites. Uh, what can I get you, sir? Turns to Underscum. Well, I understand that this is a haunted tavern. Oh, you've but not been listening. What haunted spirits do you have? Oh, fine, yes. Uh, she goes and gets you a glass of something. <laughs> What's this? Well, it's, it's whatever. It's green is what it is. <laughs> it's green and it's strong. Sounds good to me. 
Uh, yes, large pink gentleman. How can I assist you? Do you have some ale? Yes. No! <laughs> <laughs> We're the worst pub in the entire world. <laughs> Have, yes. you, have you pre-booked a table? <laughs> you know this is a dry bug. Yes. I'd like to have a large pint of ale, please. Okay. She goes and gets you a large tankard of ale. And it's... Fucking heavy. Large. It's, you know, not heavy for you. Large ale, like. And then she comes over to Seskarath. What can I do for you, sir? Water, meat. Water, separate, water. separate dishes. Yes. Water, meat. I'll go see what we have in the kitchen. No need to cook the meat. I'll go see what we have in the kitchen. I'm going to take Gimme here, and we're going to go and find a seat at the table. <laughs> Just chuck. Everyone else off all the other table. <laughs> <laughs> I will follow. Uh, well, there's a seat. We'll put him there, and I'll put Gimme down on the table. I just uh, down I the aisle. Gonna... Hello. Uh, I'll roll a Constitution save because I drank a. Uh, yeah, you drank a whole ale in like a a gulp. In Give one. me a con save. Are you about to be a sea of thieves lightweight? Ah, you're fine. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I asked for another. <laughs> uh, she comes back out with a, a, a glass of water and some meat and then takes your tankard back and tops it back up again and hands it back to you. Do you have any um, choosing clothes, by any uh, I mean, I, I, hmm, not sure. Let me go have a look. And she disappears off into the back. <laughs> That's because I'm having cheese and crackers right now. Sesame crackers. Really good. Uh, drinks, his, drinks his water, takes the meat with his hands and just eats at it. It's, uh, it's a mixture of meats. Kind of whatever they've had left over in the kitchen. She's just kind of seen an opportunity to get yeah. rid of the last odds and bits and pieces. Yeah, so no, no, no knives and forks or anything. Just like grabs handful down. <laughs> uh, could you guys all roll me a perception check, please? Mm -hmm. Certainly. One moment. Sorry, perception. just got to finish off one thing there. Perception, is it? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. right. Perception. I apologise for being very distracted. My friends are currently casting a dramatic retelling of my life. Oh, <laughs> interesting choice. <laughs> 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 Uh, and apparently that is distracting Nuri in the game as well. Yes, apparently so. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm I just have this strange feeling feel. that people are telling some sort of dramatic telling. <laughs> uh, Nuri and Gimbal, you are both uh, apparently distracted by the fact that Underscum is challenging the entire table to an arm wrestling contest. Uh, especially as apparently Gimbal will be second. Uh, everybody else... You notice that over by the fireplace are a pair of gentlemen in familiar red robes. Ooh. They don't have the face masks on, but they are the same red robes as you have seen elsewhere. I am going to move to my group and whisper, I believe we seem to find the suspect in over there, and fight them. It's like, Seth's breath, eyes locked on them. What do we do? We'll monitor their moves now. Bad Say it again, you broke up. <laughs> ah, bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> I did not say that, but we should monitor, monitor them for now, but if they start moving, we shall start moving. That sounds like a good plan. What do you think? Oh, sorry, you're not part of the group. Uh, <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Attack them when they move, okay? No, normal, no, not He's just got 
Lord Lord Reginald Rosebud just has a mouthful of cheese and crackers right now. I understand. They try to move, I grab them. No, no, we need to see where they are going. Oh. We must follow them once they start moving. And and we can't do that if if I grab them. No, they will they will just lose they will just lose all. <laughs> Turns back to his pile of meat. <laughs> okay, I understand. But right, become, oh, nicely. <laughs> if they start to become very hostile towards, if they find out and they become hostile, we'll have to kill one of them and keep the other to take us to the place. Which one? It depends on who goes hostile first. But by look by looking at them, is there one that is is there one that is plumper than the other? Um <laughs> Yes. Which one? <laughs> the the northernmost gentleman is slightly plumper. <laughs> well if they go against us, yes. Right. Right. But for now, no, we you shall... could always just go and ask them if they have any artifacts, really, like, <laughs> sweetly. <laughs> it, it's I don't a think plan. It's going to work somehow. I'm, worst case scenario, I can go over and pick Nuri up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm very good at acting. What are we going? What are we actually trying to get out of them? Just. Finding uh, the location of layer. Yeah, secret layer. If you can go over and pretend you want to get hired. Yeah, well, they see me at this table. I can see if they want any of my artifacts. Yes? I have lots of evil artifacts. <laughs> Pulls okay. out a cat plush. <laughs> <laughs> I remember last week, a couple of weeks back, I had like a kiss me quick ornament of a cat in a leprechaun yeah. hat. Yeah. <laughs> I've just realised it's one of your um, artifacts, a bottle of some sort of liquid. I almost, I almost... potion from the well of, of a nymph. I almost want to imagine that Nuri has just a big duffel coat and then just <laughs> hey, I'd like some artifacts. He just opens the coat up, just lots of just random crap. <laughs> no. 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 Well, that was I, the Nuri have, I want Nuri to have a bag of holding and just come up with the most random things brought along. This is yeah. a stone which has a face on it. That's um, <laughs> <laughs> so cute, though. So that was cute. the original idea because, like, when I made when I rolled her originally, like, she was weighed down with so much. <laughs> the full like carrying capacity of me was used. <laughs> well, I, I just realized I didn't do something in the creation of Zeskareth. Continue on. I gotta quickly do something. You gotta roll a D one hundred, have you? I, I didn't do a trinket. <laughs> uh Nuri, are you approaching? Uh, yeah, I could approach them. Uh roll me a quick um, perception um, check as you approach to see what you hear. Would you like my part, large part of the um, crack? You want some crackers, please? Uh, as you approach, you like <laughs> yeah. as you approach Nuri, you hear they got him. The spine devils got him and brought him back. He's tied up upstairs. Yeah, him and that dark elf too. Hmm. Um, I will... I have two options. I can either turn back around... Moonwalk back. Make it seem like... You're going to the bath. Yeah, that I've done something. Or I could still try to talk to them. Safest option would be to come back. Yes. Roll me, roll me a oh, stealth check. Stealth. Yeah. Just to see if they notice you getting cl- this close. Yeah, no, you're fine. They're, they're oh. heavily engaged in this secretive conversation. They're whispering back and forth. 
I remember once me and my friend went into a, this is like the first time me and my friend had ever been in a pub. We went yeah. in, we sat down, we looked at each other and we're like, we're so awkward, we don't know what to do. We just said out loud, our friends aren't here, we better go. <laughs> <laughs> and stood up and walked out. <laughs> oh, well, then. So you could just imagine Nori doing that. So Nori just kind of turns around. I better go now. Oh, oh, I better go. <laughs> How's it going to announce? I'm leaving. <laughs> You're oh. not my husband. You're not my husband. You're not my husband. You're not my husband. Hang on. Uh, you walk back to the rest of the group. <clears throat> they continue their conversation. So? Um, so I heard on the grapevine that he's upstairs. So, <laughs> him and the dark elf. So I would guess that there would be the others up there as well. Right. In which case, we need to go. To... I'm going to take my drink and slug it back. <laughs> roll me, <laughs> roll me a Constitution saving throw. Can you roll me a constitution saving throw, sir? Are we still doing the arm wrestling thing? <coughs> you well, knock back. No one actually came up to me and said they wanted to arm wrestle, which I'm a bit upset about. You uh, knock back I... the drink, and it it's very strong, but you are made of stronger stuff. <laughs> I'm going to knock back my bucket of ale, so I'm going to roll another con save. Roll me another con save. I'm good. Ah, oh, you're fine. You, you've <clears throat> drunk like three times this much before. Sesgrath finishes his water. Roll me <laughs> a con <laughs> save. <laughs> you get fully hydrated. It's been poisoned. But guys, guys, but I'm guys. A con save with advantage because it's because <laughs> it's water. I'm hydrated. <laughs> guys, this is a reminder. Drink some water. Hydrate hydrated. yourself. I nearly pointed at the screen that has the stream on it, but I need to point at the camera. <laughs> Hydrate. Drink. Hydrate and remember. Whoever's, whoever's playing this game right now and whoever is watching this stream, drink some Hydrate. Water. Hydrate. And if you're watching oh, this on YouTube in about smoke? six months' Don't time, drink. Hydrate. It still, it still applies. Hydrate. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot. I didn't know if. Was it was it was water we were supposed to be drinking? <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry, couldn't help myself. Oh my god! Uh, anyway, so, so I'm going to get up and start walking straight over to these guys, and immediately lean on the what first one here. Hey, oh. buddy, where's the toilet? Oh dear. I think normally people go in the alley behind the bar. Behind the bar, gotcha. That way. On walking. <laughs> He's literally heard just behind the bar and carries on walking in this one. Um, Reginald oh. is actually going to turn to um, Gimbal. Mm. So he's gonna take it. Said, "Do you know any sleep spell?" Uh, I do have one prepared. We can. We could probably make them go just and then move, start moving. But there's just an empty room. <laughs> uh, under scum, roll me a <laughs> uh, investigation check. This is gonna go terribly. This went terribly. Uh, you are in the back room of the Godcatcher Inn, which is a rather dingy uh, little room compared to the luxurious and cosy atmosphere in the main room. Uh, there are cheap wooden shelves that all bow under the weight of uh, sacks of flour, jugs of lard, and other foodstuffs. Uh, the entire room smells of vinegar and is lit by a single flickering lamp. So the plan is... We put them to sleep and then start heading upstairs. That's what you said, Mary. No, I didn't say that sleep, but... <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> it's better than Underground or Sassafrax having a bar fight. 
<laughs> yes, I was trying to think of all the other S things from Cartoon to my youth. So if I was going to find it, Sassafras and Succotash. I'm just kind of just trying to find the stairs. <laughs> okay. I have a lot of DMs. That's a we terrible didn't... title, actually. It's a voice juice and that one to describe John from now on. I would like to cast a sleep spell. Okay. Uh, the center point is going to be over here where Underscap is. Okay. Roll me a sleep spell. <laughs> no dice. Oh well. You would, wouldn't you? Nice. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. um, that's nine. Unfortunately, eighteen. I have an of odd, otherwise I could cast uh, the spell around. Actually, yeah, you just get these two. So one of the cultists just kind of <laughs> slumps to the ground. <laughs> And one of the guys at the bar just kind of slumps forward. That means that this guy will probably just still be distracted by like, oh, what's going on with my friend? And that guy is just like checking his drink. Like, what? What the hell just happened? I think this shall be our move now. Uh, uh under scum, you wander through these other doors and you find yourself in a kitchen. Oh. Uh, it is immaculately clean, and you can see a back door leading out of the place. Oh, good. Where uh, is that back door? <laughs> not depicted on the map, but... <laughs> there, you've gone through it, you're outside. Ah, uh, wait, outside? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, mind you, that's said. You're sort of in an alleyway between the bar and the statue itself. As a really odd one, because I've noticed it, and I know that this is going to be a key element. Can I roll a check to see whether I realise that the room which I was in beforehand, represented obviously by the building on the other side, which I can see, seems to stretch further than... Ah, uh, that's I underground, I'm afraid. Oh, that's underground. <laughs> Sorry. That is not that. there. So, if you saying it was going, I thought you said it was going up. Uh, so in front up. of you is the statue. Ah. So, like, there's a very thin alleyway at the back of the inn, uh, oh, between the inn itself and sort of this fifty foot tall statue of a man. Very good then. Uh, pretty good much, call. you can tell that this small alleyway is used for deliveries and urination. Well, well, when in Rome, Psst. pull out and so <laughs> uh, As as you head back inside, uh, you spot that there is a there's a broom, sort of, leant up against the wall here. Ah, not late. Is anything? <clears throat> do I pick up anything about the broom? No. In which case, I noticed that our, uh, our host was here. So, where ah. is the haunting? What haunting? This place is meant to be haunted. A wall which talks. There is no wall that talks. But It's just people being silly and superstitious. Well, okay, then. Which is the superstitious wall? It is people getting drunk and thinking they're hearing things that they either are, in which case it's the people that rent the basement. Oh. Or it's people getting drunk, in which case they're just drunk. Basement. I don't see any stairs going down. It's in the other room. In the storeroom. But it's... Yeah, it's just a group of, uh, you know, harmless group of noble-born history enthusiasts. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, I suppose that makes sense. Oh, all right then. 
Well, it makes the place seem a lot worse, I've got to tell you. Never mind. Are you sure there's no ghosts? I'm sure there's no ghosts. I would know if there were ghosts. Oh. Spiritualist. Uh, Realist. Oh. Okay. She goes back out into the main area with a uh, <laughs> plate of food. Uh, Nuri, are you going to move with the rest of the group? Uh, yep. Yep. I just can't touch my controller currently. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Gimbal and Nuri, can I get investigation checks from you both? Mm hmm. Definitely. 13. Uh, as you both walk into the uh, pantry you look over into this corner and you both spot a little patch of a uh, set of footprints in the dust and you can spot a trap door that sort of blends into the floor oh, don't you open that trap door don't you open that trap door <laughs> thank you <laughs> um, I remember that from my youth. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. But, but John, with my investigation in the pantry, did I like find any like dried meat or anything like that? Uh, yeah, you'd have found some dried meat. You didn't find a trap a door, but dried, a handful of dried meat. <laughs> okay, <laughs> shoves it in back. <laughs> So Gimbal's over here and opens the trap door. Fantastic. Just sort of walk over and tap with my foot and... Oh, that's different. Well done, you two. Well done. <gasps> yeah. Wait, we can open passages by smashing things. I wouldn't recommend smashing no, 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 yet. No. But, but you just stomped your foot and... I, I stomped my foot because the floor was different. Right, I will go in first. Underscum, you come with me. Underscum is currently sort of tapping his foot on the floor. Did you... I'm just carrying around my bottle of Merlot. <laughs> I, I, so basically, see, I said, um, Underscum, you come with me. Gimbal oh. and Nuri, you come in after. Seth Grove, you come in last. I was going to say, okay. though, aren't they hidden no upstairs? Fear. Why are we going downstairs? There seem to be no stairs around. Well, going outside, there doesn't seem to be anything connected to the building. We'll check. Let me have a good look. I look, I come in here. Uh, you head down into the cellar, and it is cold and dark, and rainwater drips from the ceiling. Mind your step under scum. Uh. And a moat of arcane light drifts lazily around the ceiling, illuminating three ancient stone doors emblazoned with an arcane sigil. Oh, I've used up all my spell slots. Oh. Uh, would anybody like to make me either an arcana or history check? I'm gonna, I, I uh, if I can come down to join you guys. Sesgraf just moves out of the way. Forward magic. Okay. Uh, not the great thing. I didn't study this one. I'm going up here. I haven't studied either. But there you go. Uh, <laughs> Nuri and Reginald. Yes. Uh, this is a sigil uh, of the Black Staff, the legendary wizard sworn to defend Waterdeep from evil. Oh, so some good guys. Fairly good guys, anyway. But then why did they steal our guy? Don't know if it was them that stole our guy. Uh, Reggie, as you examine this door, it is slightly open. Uh, do you want to roll me another investigation check? Yes. Shitty. Yes. No. It's a door. It's a door. It's a door. Slightly I'm open. To, I'm going to slowly open it wide. It sort of slowly slides into the room. I get my... Um... And creaks loudly. Um... Within there's a small wine cellar containing ten casks of Tsar. <clears throat> oh, 
Uh, which is a kind of uh, fortified sherry wine. Each of the casks contains 12 bottles. Huh. And without any shame, Gimbal would like to sneak in behind uh, some old originals and uh, empty out his water skin and refill it with that. <laughs> with the good stuff. <laughs> You refill your wine skin with some Zar. This is now a Zar skin. I'm going to say that afterwards, you're going to feel yourself being picked up and then being dragged over to this door. So, you know things. What does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what am I looking at exactly? Well, I'm going to take you over to this door here. So. Uh, you are looking at the same sigil. The same sigil is on all three doors. Okay. Magic circle. Magic circle. Um, Does that mean it's trapped? Uh, possibly. Still holding, we'll try to open the door. As you open the door, the sigil flares with a binding light, and you can feel searing pain rack your body as you are about to, to be torn apart into a million flecks of dust. Make me a con save, please, Underscum. I'm sorry for holding you there. <laughs> that ain't great. That ain't good. 40d20 damage. Is this how Atlas <laughs> so Gum now becomes more human? Uh, a transport accident. <laughs> Under Scum, you take 13 points of necrotic damage. How? As there's just a blast <laughs> off this door. Uh, Did could I you... to hold Gimbal out the way? Yeah, no, it, <laughs> it, it was only the person touching the door. Oh, good. Uh, could you make me a strength check? I think I can. No, you Lovely can't. Hell. You <laughs> heave against the door. And nothing mm. happens. That's not right. Can I try again? It's literally sort of like, okay. Right. Let's... Hold on, actually, hang on. Just want to check something quick. Yeah, I am going to go into a rage because I can't open a door. Okay. That didn't work. That's the one. And try again. Roll me a constitution save. Constitution save? Yep. Here it comes. Fifteen. Uh, okay, this time the sigil flares again, and you take five points of damage, and okay. roll me a strength check, at uh, advantage. Advantage, yes. Twenty-two. The door slowly grinds against the floor and swings open. <laughs> I got the door open and sits on the floor. <laughs> sort of very grey skin down his arms now. You can sort of see veins p p pulsing in his hands. Doors open, guys. No problem. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try What's open... in here? I'm going to try open up this door. Uh, you see a marble statue of a man. Uh, Gimbal, you recognise this to be Kelvin Aronson, the first Black Staff, and it is a marble statue of him, head bowed, kneeling down, and in his hands, uh, palms up above his head, is a wand. Hmm. Interesting. I'm just going. Could you <laughs> pick that up for me? <laughs> Underscum didn't quite hear that as he's still pressing. Understood it as pick me up, 
So it does. Picks up Gimbal and starts walking him over. Why am I doing this? Just, just stay there. I'll try to stand balance on his shoulders and I'm going to reach for the wand. Okay. You take the wand. It, it is wand. balanced in his arms so you can just pull it free. And this one, Mr. Potter. What's with the stick? It's a magic wand. Maybe useful for some for something. Ooh. Any idea? Do I know what the wand is? Was it just a? Uh, not without identifying or detecting magic at the very least. Now I could do identify or detect magic, but that would take some time. So the question is, do you want to detect some magic now, or...? Uh, it'll take me up to ten minutes. But since I'm there, there anyway, I'll do it whilst I'm also looking at the gold mask that... Um, Lord Reginald gave me earlier. So I'll look at the two side by side. Okay, are you letting everybody else know to do, like, stay put for a minute? Yeah, give, give me a few minutes. Uh, ten at the most. Pull out the spell book and... Pull out the okay. spell book, candles, draw some chalk on the ground. Uh, would you like I to... Mean, cool, but it works. Uh, would you like to hear about it in here or go into the private room? Oh, take me into the private room. Uh, this... A uh, wand is a wand of secrets. Uh, a wand of secrets, you know, from your identify spell, uh, has three charges. While holding it, you can expend an action, or you can use an action to expend one of its charges... If there is a secret door or trap within 30 feet of you, the wand will pulse and point you to the nearest one. The wand will regain 1d3 expended charges daily at dawn. <coughs> Wonderful. The mask is non-magical. Okay, dogs. It be useful at the very least. Uh, so whatever Gimbal decides to share of the loot. Well, I... After the few minutes are over, I take the wand and I go, Now this is a powerful wand. I'm keeping it. Very well. Put it in my pocket. This part's got the other hand, and I just yeet it across the wall. Tink, 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 tink. Junk! Tink, tink, clung. What is it? This thing is worthless! <laughs> <laughs> it's the cultist's golden mask. Oh. Well, his very intelligent friends just told him he's worthless, so he's gonna leave it. <laughs> okay. Maybe useful for scrap, but otherwise, meh. Uh, what scrap am I going to need? <laughs> Reggie. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you've got a door. I've got a door. And you heave it open. Mm -hmm. And it, you know, af oh, yeah. after the ten minutes or so of waiting for Gimbal to be ready to go, you push the door open. And the door opens to reveal a long corridor. Hmm. Alright, I'll go to up there and say, Guys, everyone, we've got another door here. Seems a long corridor, so it might be some... It might lead to something. Oh. 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 Is okay. it pretty? I'm assuming it's pretty dark, right? Yes, it, it is an unlit corridor. 
I will. I don't even have a tool. Uh. What can you see without one? No, I cannot see without it. Oh. Well, in which case, take mine. Alright. I will take yours and then I will leave. I'll say, everyone, get in. Let's get in line. The two gnomes will. Two gnomes will come. Us come and. Will come with me. And Seth can either be at the back. Or I'm just going to be at the back. Well, I am feeling a bit weak at the moment, but I think I'm really alright. Stay in the middle then, my friend. Okay. Alright, I'll get there. The middle is where I am. So there you want. Uh, you head down a long corridor uh, and after a little while of walking you realise that the corridor is leading you upwards mm -hmm. um, roll me a perception check everyone perception I shouldn't have been on an advantage ah <laughs> uh. Uh, Nuri? Yep, I'm just trying to find the right window. <laughs> <laughs> it's around here somewhere. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, you eventually get to a... Uh, what is it? A, a large stone door. And on the stone door... So uh, no girls allowed is a hand with outstretched fingers and a symbol carved onto the middle of the hand. Uh, does anybody in the group speak Infernal? Nope. Nope. Uh, nope. Nope. Yes, I do. Uh, Nuri, the symbol, <laughs> the symbol on this hand you realise is the infernal symbol for the number nine. It says number nine, of course. Not <laughs> to sort of go over your shoulder. Uh, Reginald, as you're yeah. at the front of the group, uh, do you want to attempt to open the door? Yes. Roll me a strength check. Okay... You oh heave God. against the door. <clears throat> and it slowly but surely swings open. It's a very heavy door. Um, and you are confronted with... A mind witness! Who murders you all horribly. <laughs> Uh, you are confronted with a large statue of uh, a creature with horns, a goatee, bat-like wings, and two garnet eyes that glowers down at you. Another? And around the statue are uh, four cultists who are chanting uh, in Infernal. And I Nuri, you recognise them saying... Praise be to Asmodeus. Yeah, I'll sort of say under my breath, uh, is he Macedeus? Definitely speaking about someone. Seems to be this Macedeus. Do we do a history check or? Uh, you would know Asmodeus as the lord of uh, Asmodeus Asmodeus I'll just sort of keep on saying uh, you would know Asmodeus as uh, 
somebody the the, the great demon lord uh lord of nessus the bottom level of the nine layers of hell oh great he's from hell very very deep down as well and suddenly the re the, you come to the realization that the number nine on the door uh signifies um, yeah is the ninth layer yeah so is that bloody door going to send us down to the ninth layer of hell? I hope not. We might already be there. But... Or at least something to akin to it, anyway. Oh, As you... Oh, one minute. Some of you I know I fixed. Oh, I can't see shit, so I know oh, you have to fix anything. <laughs> Uh, Gimbal, can you now see? Uh, no, I can't. Still black. I was going to say, my screen's ah, completely black. Are. I can see me! I can see nothing. So, I can see nothing the since the rain's still here. I can't see any obstacles in my way. That's so probably for the best. Now stuck in that dark time that has me blind. It's gonna be a dark, dark, miserable day. It's gonna be a dark. Uh, Sean, does Seskareth have dark vision again? He doesn't know. He doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Friends. 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 Oh. oh. Hello. I assume that you might be in the corridor rather than in this room, entirely quite this close to the cultists, but I didn't yeah. think to model the corridor into the map for reasons of... <laughs> I would have been at the very end of the chain, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, technically, at the moment, I can put you all guys outside the map, but then we can't see in it. But then you can't see it except for uh, Reggie, who was second in the queue. Was it under scum? Uh, it was still first in the queue, wasn't it? And then someone moved. You, you were first, and, and then who in was the second? Under scum ended up following you because no one else did. Yeah, I'm just going second. I would have been last following the gnomes. Okay. Indeed, I would have been behind on the scum. Okay, uh, so Reggie, you can see the, the tall statue glowering down at you. Red shining eyes. Uh, and four uh, cultists are stood around it praying. What do you do? I will observe, and then I turn back saying, there's people in here. Stay quiet. Don't make a mess. Hello, have you heard about our Lord and Saviour? Uh, <laughs> uh, Lord and Saviour, I punched to that face. Hello. My name my is Mr. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, would you guys like to roll me a stealth check, please? Ah, ha, ha, no. Everyone. Anyone who's going to try and get into this room quietly. Well, I, think I, can I don't. Yeah, because I'm going to move aside. I don't have any more rage, and uh, currently at six HP. Probably not that. Not the best person to try and get in there. You should have said I've got healing hands. And I've got yeah, and I've got lay on hands. Does anybody want to yeah. heal? Does anyone want to heal the bug there? <laughs> Go. Yes. I'll give you all nine of my lay on hands. So you have uh, nine HP along. That's 13 HP. So 
So you're at 19 HP total there, Ben. Ben? Hello? Yellow. Hello, Dave. Ben? Ben! <laughs> ben! Ben! He gone. Oh, he dead. Oh, he's all dead. Dead. Ben. Ah, uh, why did I take shocking hands? Or shocking cross. Oh, there he goes. I'm going to guess no, he wasn't. Maybe the internet cut off? Who can say? Probably. At the moment, we do not know. Um, well, at this point, I will inform you that the cultists stop their prayers and turn around to face you as the cultists rolled a natural 20 for their perception. So all of a sudden, under, under. So you all came in like a uh, wrecking ball. Wrecking ball. I uh, just imagine us all pushing to get through the door, and we all just fall in. <laughs> <one. laughs> Look up at them. He's having <laughs> troubles with his computer. Yeah, I know it. Uh, so I'm going to say that at this point we'll go on a uh, we'll have a cliffhanger moment. And that you guys will have to deal with this next time. As you find your way into the uh, hand of Nessus. I could. Uh, so for now, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with more of this uh, in two weeks' time. Um, in the meantime... Uh, in the meantime, we're going to be back with these other streams that are coming up. So tomorrow night, Sean and I are going to be on the Minecraft server for Minecraft Mondays, as I'm hoping to build the Quantum Suit of Armor, uh, or finish off the Quantum Suit of Armor. We need to build the Quantum uh, Chest Piece, or Body Armor. On Tuesday... Uh, we're currently scheduled to do the Art of the Trickster, which is the trap-making uh, Tall Tale for Tall Tale Tuesdays. But I need to talk to Sean and Jeff because ghost ships are now sailing the seas. Ghost ships are now sailing the seas. Indeed, they shouldn't be too bad to deal with. You can skirt around them. And I am hearing that maybe we want to go and fight the ghost ships because I ain't afraid of no ghost. Be. Some ghosts on the Sea of Thieves, and and I'm hearing good things about the rewards for fighting said ghosts. So, so, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Yoda appears. You will be. You will be. 